thanks for sticking with us here on Adelante Chicago. Well, Morton College, located in Cicero, Illinois, is known to have the largest Latino student population outside the state of Texas and California. This year, they celebrate 100 years of service. Here to tell us more about how the programs they offer, about the programs that they offer, is the president of Morton College, Dr. Keith McLaughlin, and student trustee Giselle Beltran. Thank you to both of you for coming in, and congratulations. Thank you so much. A hundred years, that is yes. quite the anniversary. It certainly is. It's okay. real staying power for an institution mm -hmm. of higher education. Too. And talk to me about the impact that you've been able to have in the Cicero community, which we know large Latino neighborhood community. Yes. Um, what have you, how have you been able to help, you think? Well, our theme this year, which I think speaks to that, is uh, we've created pathways to a better life. And we've done that for 100 years now. That's what we're celebrating. And the Cicero and the other communities that we serve as a community college district in Illinois have just uh, had, we've had such a huge impact on changing lives, on preparing people for a better future in terms of going through our programs of studies and preparing for careers mm -hmm. and good paying jobs. Uh, that support families yeah. and, and help them prosper. So, And it's all about giving people the tools that they need to succeed yes, uh, with every organization, with which whether it's an educational institution or um, other nonprofit. So I, I think it's great. I want to bring you into the conversation, Giselle, right. because you are actually what you're the trustee, student trustee. Yes. For, OK, yes. tell me what that means, how you're able to help. So I am able to help um, everybody for one year. It's, it's a one-year term. So um, it's my second year. I'm a sophomore here at Morton okay. College. What are you studying? I w well, I am studying my um, associate in arts. Okay. Li like arts. Liberal and arts, I'm yeah. I'm doing um, also a paralegal program as well. I'm going to be transferring to a four-year next year. Um, I'm doing major in political science, minor in criminology, and okay. from there I want to go to law school. And I think w one of the interesting things is that people start out there, maybe sort of get their feet right. wet, and then from there transfer to another institution. Right. And it's awesome. Yeah. Very, 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 Gives very, you very rare well. opportunities, yeah. Very, yeah, exactly. Um, I come from private school, and it wasn't as um, open to yeah. everybody as Morton College is. So when okay. I first started at Morton College, I dived right in. I joined, I think, eight different clubs and organizations. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, and um, I've loved it, every second of it. Okay, I want to show some pictures because we do have some familiar faces, at least for us here at WGN and some of you at home. Uh, one of our reporters, Angelica Sanchez, actually started out at Morton College, right? She did. We are so proud of her, and she actually is the there it uh, is. scene here. She was our graduation speaker, speaker last yeah. May at our graduation, and she just did a wonderful job speaking to the students, inspiring them, inspiring all of us with her story, and uh, her start was at Morton College in terms okay. of preparing her for her amazing career path that she's on. Okay, but she's not the only face. There are other ones who have also started there at Morton College. Who else? Yes, uh, well, one of the more famous ones that uh, comes to mind, Joe Montaigne, if you're a fan okay. of Criminal Minds. Uh, he's had an amazing acting career throughout his life, and he was actually part of the Chicago theater program. Chicagoans know him well. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. very well. Uh, and so, number of individuals, but uh, people from all walks of life that yeah. have gone on to be successful in so many different uh, fields of endeavor yeah. and professions, and uh, we're just so proud of the history. Mm -hmm. And, of course, our students is what we're most proud of because that's what it's all about. Yeah. And oftentimes people don't associate a community college with the full college of experience, yeah. but as she has described, um, getting involved in clubs, activities, athletics, and even though uh, our students aren't living on campus, they're really yeah. having the full experience of uh, being part of a college. And I've actually experience. been to your school to visit mm -hmm. um, to speak to some of the students because you have a journalism program as well, um, which is actually Angelica was a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but talk about the the range of programs that you have at Morton College because um, you you mentioned theater too, which yes, I didn't we only have about. over yeah. fifty different programs mm -hmm. of study, so we have a wide a, a range. Uh, a, a programs that students can enroll in. And for some students, they're just exploring. They're not sure what they want to do. I think we were all at that point when we were 18, 19, yeah. 20, uh, in terms of what we wanted to do with our lives. So it's a great place to start and explore. 
uh, what you might be interested in. But we have programs for students who might want to start and take their first yeah. two years at a community college like Morton College and then transfer on to a four-year college and university. That was my start. I started in a community college, and so I, I've had that experience myself. And then we have programs that are degrees and certificates that prepare people for specific careers. Uh, right after they finish their program, nursing, physical therapist, assistant, uh, welding programs, heating, ventilation, air conditioning type programs, business programs, mm -hmm. accounting. Uh, so there's just so many different opportunities that people can come yeah. and explore and prepare for next steps, whatever they might be, if yeah. it's transferring or if it's going right out into their career. Okay, um, and the community you feel like reacts well to the to the it college, does. yeah. It really does. Okay. All right. Well, we congratulate you guys on 100 years. You've got a number of festivities and events planned. Tell me about them. We, it kicks off with the parade, the yes, Independence Yes, we uh, kick off with the parade on September 15th, which is a Sunday. That's our actual anniversary date, marking the 100th year of the institution. Yeah. And then uh, that week, uh, we will be having a ceremony on campus. We invite the community. We invite our our friends and partners and everyone to come and join us for that uh, at 11 o'clock on September 18th. Okay. Uh, but we are so happy to be part of the Mexican Independence Day Parade in Cicero and we are gonna be the lead float uh, in recognition is... of our 100th year. So we'll have uh, faculty, staff, students, community members all being That's a quite part an of honor. that. It's just gonna be so exciting. Okay, quite yes. an honor. You're gonna be there? I will. Okay, I will see you there because we awesome. have a float there too. WGN has a float, oh, so we will see you both there. I'll come say hello. Uh, well, congratulations once again. Uh, we hope Thank for you. at least another hundred years. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, We're planning for it. We're, you're planning for it already. <laughs> All right.